It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, the 21st of July. I'm James Spann. Uh, we've got heat levels creeping down this week and rain chances going up as the heat ridge weakens a little bit. And that sounds pretty good, I think, to most people. Check it out. Pretty strong wave passing north of the state, beating down the heat ridge a bit this morning. Man, it's humid, muggy in most spots. Look at Birmingham, 80, Decatur, 81. Clearly, the best retreat in the state is Fort Payne. They're in the upper 60s at 68. That's 12 degrees lower than Birmingham. Now, still today, we'll be in the middle 90s, and we still got this heat index for much of the state. But uh, tomorrow and Thursday, highs closer to 90. And by Thursday, some spots may be holding in the 80s all day because of the increase in clouds and showers. Severe weather possibilities today and tonight. Marginal risks and scattered pockets around the nation. Nothing close to us. However, tomorrow, a pretty good chunk of our state has a marginal risk of severe storms. Some of the storms that form could produce pretty strong gusty winds. They all have a lot of lightning in the summertime, of course. And on day three, which is Thursday, a marginal severe weather risk for a pretty good chunk of central and south Alabama. Overall rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning. Average amounts about one to one and a half inches. And uh, summer rain is always a good thing. Sure beats a drought. And once again, your classic El Nino summer, the Atlantic Basin, very quiet. No tropical storms anytime soon. All right, GFS, this is the 06C run, valid today at 1 o'clock. You can see that very strong wave coming through eastern Canada. It'll push a nice cold front through the northeast United States, and the heights are clearly down a little bit, but still, I think we'll do mid-90s today. You will not need a jacket, I'll put it that way. Um, a mix of sun and clouds, and a few spots getting a storm today. This is the high-res HRRR at uh, 2 o'clock, and you can see quite a few storms out there, kind of random and scattered, you know the deal, but they will be around. And then tomorrow, pretty good coverage of showers and storms, and both models are showing a high of only 91 a uh, pretty decent chance you'll get wet a time or two tomorrow. And the same thing on Thursday. Those two days should offer the highest coverage of showers and storms tomorrow and Thursday. Still, I can't promise it's going to rain everywhere, but a lot of people will get some good rain. And then Friday, same thing. Looks uh, pretty wet there. So uh, really, again, scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms with low 90s on Friday. Now, this is the weekend. The heights are beginning to creep back up. Uh, 594 ring a little west of the state, but clearly uh, the ridge is rebuilding, and that means the weekend should be drier. Could there be a storm? Absolutely. I mean, come on, this is summer, but uh, I think pretty good part of the weekend dry. That's Saturday and Sunday. Highs creeping back up in the mid-90s with storms becoming more widely separated. And Monday of next week, same thing. Pretty decent amount of sun, maybe a storm in spots week from today, Tuesday, July 28th, got the old ridge kind of pumping up toward the Great Lakes and uh, classic summer weather, partly sunny, hot, muggy, a storm in a few spots. Here's the end of the forecast. This is Thursday, July 30th, toward the end of next week. Hey, that 594 circle trying to build just north of us. So that looks pretty hot. The storm's pretty isolated. And the numbers, it all depends on the strength of the ridge. You can see the, them coming down. In fact, the ensembles have 89 tomorrow and 91 Thursday. But then we creep back up in the mid-90s this weekend and then drop back toward the low 90s once we get into August. And that's a little above average for this time of the year, but not by far. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.